What's up guys, my name is Albert Tam and today I will show you a preview of my 2020 in the bag. So first of all, this year I'm rocking this new cart, the Nufik. So I'm going to show you why this is special, so see it out. And voila, fits in nice, it's really easy to fold, you can put it in your trunk, it doesn't take up much space and soon you're gonna have a travel bag with this. So it's easy to take your cart everywhere, you don't have to take your bag, this out of your bag, just put your bag in the cart, easy. Go check out Nufik, uh, the link is in the Facebook description, you can check him, check him out there. So let's see the disc now. So let's start with putters. Uh, I've been putting with shields for like three to four years now. Uh, only thing that has changed is the plastic. I used to throw uh, like putt with the medium plastic for like a couple years back, but I decided to switch to the heart. It keeps the mold of the disc better. And in my opinion, the grip doesn't vary so much. The hard plastic has pretty good grip. doesn't matter if it's uh, winter time or summertime. That's just my opinion, and yeah, these boys make makes the magic happen. So let's move on. Next in the putter sections are some throwing putters. We got some the new release by Latitude, the SBZ1 Zombie. This is actually a beginner set disc, but this particular model, model uh, was in the Mystery X boxes. Uh, it's heavier and it's the OptoX plastic which makes it a bit more stable and flight wise it's uh, just a point and shoot disc for a putter I can put any angle on it, it holds the line pretty good any hyzer, hyzer or flat just go straight and yeah, ton of glide, easy distance uh, it's usually my like, go-to up shots for backhands and maybe the shorter distances but uh, the main worker workhorses are the harps this red one has been uh, in the bag since last year, I think since Las Vegas. And uh, yeah, it's pretty straight now, so it's my go-to upshot disc for side arm and backhand. And this one is uh, a bit more stable, so just like for wind type of situations. Next up we got the mid-ranges, um, I don't carry this year too many mid-ranges, I don't know why I used to carry a lot of mid-ranges because I felt this was uh, maybe a key of my game, but this year um, things have changed, I've carried only two maces, this one has been in the bag pretty much ever since I started from Trilogy Plastic, it's, uh, it's an Opto mace. It's uh, rather beaten in, but somehow, I don't know why, something took a big chunk out of this disc lately. So it flips very fast now. So I'm not sure if this disc is going to stay in the bag for long, but uh, yeah, pretty much turnover disc for now. This one is my go-to mid-range. Uh, without the wind, it's pretty much point and shoot, just throw straight at the basket, go straight and uh, has a consistent fade in the end. Uh, the Opto, Opto line Anchor, this is the disc that uh, I'm going to use if I want want to have this type of shot, but only in the wind. So the Anchor is a pretty pretty nice complement to the mace. They both have bead, and the bead is the thing I like. And lastly, I have the Lucid Justice. This is Tristan Tanner 2019 fundraiser stamp, so go check him out. Uh, yeah, I think Lucid Justice very overstable uh, mid-range, sidearm, backhand, no matter what the win, this boy does his job. Next up we got the fairway drivers. Uh, I carry three Explorers right now. So the thing with the Explorer is, 
this is my first year throwing the Explorer. Last year's, I haven't thrown the Explorer. But uh, right now I see why many people like it and I like it too. Uh, I carry three different plastics. Uh, first is the afterline. This is actually the prototype and uh, maybe the most similar to the regular stock run right now. But this is pretty flippy for me. Uh, just throw it out with hyzer, get a nice turn out of it. So very handy in the woods. Next one is probably my go-to explorer. This is Emerson Keith 2020 signature series. It's uh, rather overstable. It handles nice winds, so it's easy to control and uh, very consistent. Yeah, in the wind type of situations, I can get really controlled uh, fairway shots with this. And lastly, I have the EK64 run from Rias last year. I think it's up to X Glimmer uh, Explorer. And uh, yeah, this is the most overstable explorer I have found so far. Uh, so in the wind, this is the one I'm gonna pick to. Next up, we got the Pioneer. Uh, I carry two regular stock runs. The blue one is rather more beaten in. So if I, I like to throw it with sidearm. Just uh, mainly, yeah, I throw the Pioneers mostly for sidearm. Rarely I throw them for backhand, and mostly it's this one. But uh, yeah, these two are mainly for sidearm. This one is more overstable, and this is pretty much the straighter one. So complement each other perfectly. So this one perhaps is the most overstable one of the three. Um, I can get it some flex shots out of it. Also, I like to throw some controlled backhand like hyzers and uh, maybe some flex shots with it as well. So before we move on to the distance drivers, uh, we got some betweeners, the fortresses. Um, l last year I carried like three to four fortresses, but now uh, I feel that these two are the only ones I need because of the Explorer. So this is my, I think the straighter one, that's kind of for like control distance shots. I can get it uh, like 450 maybe 500 that's kind of the uh, maximum distance i can get out of it but yeah it's, it comes handy if i feel that maybe some uh, high speed drivers are p2 i have to throw them a bit too soft and the explorer might be a bit too hard so this is the best one for that type of uh, solution it has rather stay fl uh, straight flight uh, controllable fade in the end and now uh, the new addition to the bag, the Torment X Plastic Fortress Nicola Craster Signature Series. So I was looking for a long time something between a criminal and a regular fortress and this disc is it. Um, the criminal is a bit too overstable so this is, has that nice distance I can flex the, uh, flex the disc and uh, has nice control of fade so easy to use for spike hyzers as well and uh, has really nice feel I like to keep my bag simple so that's why I don't like to carry many molds and uh, the rim sizes are pretty much the same this one is uh, just a bit flatter so yeah it's pr pretty much uh, the complement to this one but just in the wind I don't re I don't throw this disc too often because it's uh, a bit too overstable, but uh, yeah, you never know when you need this one. So next up, we got my new 2020 signature series Optex Recall. Actually, I have one more over here. So I currently carry five of them. Uh, the number of them may vary because I'm still kind of like working out the bag. Let's start with the more understable ones. Uh, I think this black ink, black ink stamp uh, gold line recall might be the flippiest of them all. But uh, it has nice sidearm uh, feel to it because it is flat and it's easier for me to get some distance for it with uh, for forehand. Um, 
This one is just uh, pretty much one step up. Uh, the flight is pretty, really same, like really similar, but uh, there's a slight differences. Maybe sometimes I'll just pick this one because of personal preference. Now the Opto X plastic. This is actually the test run of the Opto X Rico. So this is a bit more overstable than the maybe the run that is out there. So this is the run that is uh, on the market right now. Uh, so, but uh, I think the difference is because because this one has a doesn't have that big big of a top. Uh, and yeah, this one you can hear some beat, but this is pretty much flat. So this one I use for sidearm mostly. It's like a controllable sidearm distance driver. And this one is for backhand. With backhand, this one is actually a bit more flippy, see? So yeah, just stable up from these and take this one. And lastly, we got the third version of my new 2020 Signature Series Optex Recall. It's the Chameleon Run. So I think it's the most overstable one I have thrown so far. Um, it has a nice pop and yeah, it's pretty much my go-to in the wind. So before recall, I was throwing a lot of enforcers. So I cannot leave enforcers out of my bag without saying them a goodbye. So I still have some enforcers in my bag. Uh, currently carry three of them. Uh, this number might change because I feel this glimmer Optex Recall might kick some of those out of the bag. So yeah, but right now I have two. One is regular Fusion, one is uh, Fusion Burst. This one is a bit more overstable. Uh, this is a bit flippier. So usually in the wind type of situations when I'm not sure if the Recall will handle the wind pretty good, then I will just pick up, pick up the Enforcer and get the shot done. And lastly, I have uh, Zach Melton's uh, Opto uh, Lucidex uh, Enforcer, which is, I think, the most overstable one of those three. And uh, yeah, this is good for like, the stiffer plastic can get a lot of skip shots and uh, put some Anheuser angles on it in the wind. So let's see how many Enforcers I have in the bag since for the next year. So next we have some big distance boys. A new addition to my bag. Uh, it's the Ballista Pro. Right now I have three of them. Let's start with the flippiest. It's the Opto plastic Ballista Pro. It has some chameleon effect to it. And uh, yeah, perhaps uh, my go-to sidearm disc for distance and uh, actually really controllable as well. But for backhand, this is the big bomber. Good for tailwind. So next one, we got this Black Ink Disc Stamp uh, Ballista Pro. It's a gold line burst. It has the highest pop and uh, loudest pop as well. So this is perhaps the betweener between the Opto and the um, Opto X one. It can handle uh, some wind, especially with sidearm, but uh, for backhand it's just uh, a distance bomber as well. The most common shot I use the Ballista Pro for is the sidearm shot. And this one is the Ballista Pro in Optex plastic. I don't know what happened to this disc, but uh, it's crazy overstable, like no joke. I can throw it in a headwind, put on some Anheuser angle on it. This will hold the line, but eventually will come out of the turn and has a consistent fade. So it's very good for backhand sidearm as well. Like when I need that distance in the wind where I'm not sure if perhaps my enforcer or recoil will come back. So this is the disc I'm gonna throw. Uh, it will handle wind and uh, I get a lot of distance and those par fours out there, they are in danger. So I got a couple like um, utility discs that I have. First is the Sapphire. It's a rather unstable disc for me, but a really good quick flip roller disc. Get out of trouble, like stand still, uh, high, lot of distance uh, sidearm shots, and uh, perhaps some long turning shots to then. So yeah, 
new line uh, this will be in the new easy to use lineup so go check it out it's a really good disc and uh, i think all skill levels can benefit benefit from it and lastly we got the Optic stiletto which perhaps is the most overstable the most overstable disc that i have ever thrown it's really flat um, yeah i can put it out there on a forehand angle like this and this disc will come out of it no joke so it's really good really good to have a disc like this in your bag because you never know what type of wind you're in what type of situation or flex shot you need so this is the one that yeah you can manipulate so many angles with it and skip shots as well so keep something too overstable and something too understable in your bag All right, that was that was pretty much all the discs I have in bag. Uh, let's sec check out some accessory things I have. First, you got to stay hydrated, so vitamin well keeps me hydrated on the course. Some towels, the birdie. So this is kind of like a new birdie bag style. It has a nice. Uh, rubbing feel so you don't it's like not so powdery so you have to rub it and uh, then your grip will get better because the extra moisture that it, your hands have like on a hot summer day this will be taken away so go check out european birdies um, there are some uh, one of my signature series birdies and uh, go check them out so next up we got some snacks because uh, you don't want to be hungry on the course. A mini. This is actually me at the European uh, Championships 2016. So thanks to Chris and Alan for making this mini for me. Uh, next one, I got my caddy book. Uh, this is where I keep notes about the course and. Uh, Keep my game plan to it uh, and make my game plan according to it. The pen, you never know when you need to sign a disc or see that your disc is unmarked, so you don't want to have unmarked discs on the course, especially in tournament play. It's illegal. And lastly, um, I have a uh, sport tape, which is really good for like for me. I have some dry hands and sometimes throwing too much gets them uh, cut and open so it's really painful to throw but uh, this tape helps me to like put them put things back together and uh, help me throw many more shots oh actually I have something more my warm-up pen that's really good for warming up um, I have pretty strong warm-up maybe not strong but a specific warm-up so yeah warming up is the key if you want to shoot good and stay injury free um, what else we have here we got some gloves some extra towels you never know and yeah that's pretty much what's in my bag for 2020 the disc might change throughout the year because uh, I'm still kind of working the bag out. I feel that some discs are maybe a bit extra right now. But yeah, let's see how the future, what the future holds for us. But yeah, thanks for Latitude 64, Blacking Discs, uh, Fajita, Physio Expert, Vitamin Well, uh, European Birdies for supporting me and see you on the course. <laughs>